There's over 2 million people using the Tiger Brokers platform and it lets you invest in the Australian, American and Hong Kong stock market. During this video, I'll show you everything there is to know about the platform from setting up an account to making your first investment. I'll even show you some bonus features like how to get zero fees for brokerage charges and foreign exchange fees when using Tiger Brokers. Firstly, if you wanna make an account with Tiger Brokers, it's very straightforward. All you need is some basic pieces of info like your email address, phone number, date of birth, and then it's gonna ask you for a bit more detailed info. If you're signing up through New Zealand, you have to provide your IRD number, and then in Australia, your TFN number as well, just to add a bit more security to the platform. Once you have your account all set up, you'll be able to invest into four different stock markets. Markets. Firstly, you'll be able to buy into the American market, letting you invest into companies like Facebook, Amazon, and Tesla. Then there's also the Australian stock market as well. This lets you invest into companies like JB Hi-Fi, Coles, and Woolworths. You can also invest into the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and China's Shanghai Stock Exchange. This will let you buy into companies like Lenovo and AIA. If you wanna get some free money when first making a Tiger Brokers account, make sure to sign up using my affiliate link in the description box below. It'll give you a free $30 when you first sign up. And also as a lifetime offer, you won't have to pay brokerage fees for up to four investments per month. And you will also pay zero foreign exchange fees for exchanging up to $2,000 per month as well. And if you're someone who wants to invest a bit more money and you fund your account with $2,000 within the first seven days of making it, you'll get an extra $50 top up. So you could potentially get up to $80 when first signing up to Tiger Brokers. For all of these different options, you'll be able to invest in either individual stocks or ETFs as well, or exchange traded funds. There's even a Bitcoin ETF that you can invest into as well. Next, we'll jump into the fees that Tiger Brokers charges. These vary depending on the country that you're investing in, and they're either related to a flat fee in terms of how many shares you buy or a percentage of the amount that you're investing in. For US stocks, the max price that you're charged for buying up to 200 shares of a company is two US dollars. Then with Australian stocks, you'll be charged a max of five AUD for buying up to 20,000 shares of any Australian company. Then for the Hong Kong stock market, the max fee is $15 for buying up to 25,000 shares for any company in the Hong Kong market. These fees are overall very, very cheap and you won't be set back much money at all, especially if you're investing into the large American market. You can also buy fractional shares of a company as well. And that means if you say wanted to invest $50 into Tesla, you didn't want to pay the full $191 US dollars that one share of Tesla is currently worth. You just want to put in a smaller amount. You can do that as well and you'll be charged a cheaper brokerage fee, about 1% of whatever the amount is that you're investing in, but the max you'll ever be charged for fractional share is one US dollar. So an easy way to think about it is if you're investing in the American market, you'll be charged two US dollars if you're buying more than one share of a company, and if you're buying less than a share, you'll be just charged one US dollar. So extremely cheap in comparison to other brokers like Shazies, if you're investing a thousand dollars into Tesla, it's gonna cost you five USD to do that. And then with Tiger Brokers, it would only cost you two US dollars. So if you're just doing one-off investments, it doesn't make a huge difference. But if you're someone that's routinely investing into the market over years, cutting down on brokerage costs can really save you a lot of money. And that's extra money that you could be investing into the market instead of spending it on brokerage fees. Tiger Brokers also offers other features like a communities tab where you can share investments or any news or stocks that you might potentially wanting to buy. And you can get feedback from other people in the community about what your plans are in terms of the investments that you wanna make. There's also the ability to invest on a demo account where you're just buying stocks with paper money. And this means you can get used to the stock market without having to take out any risk on your own money. It's a really great way to get used to the idea of having your money in the stock market, a place where you can't control what's happening to it, if it's gonna go up or go down or not do anything as well. And then once you build your confidence on the demo account, you can start using some of your own money. It can be a really daunting idea to invest your money and not have any control over what happens to it. So starting with a paper account is a really easy way to build that confidence 
and that trust in the market and also that trust in yourself that you're going to be able to invest safely and profitably. There's also detailed stock graphs as well and lots and lots of info in terms of news on the companies that you might be investing in. You can add them to a watch list and then on your news tab, you'll only receive news about those particular companies you have added to your watch list. So you can always stay up to date on any potential investments that you might wanna make. I'll quickly run through some of the pros and cons between the different investment options that Tiger Brokers has when it comes to individual stocks or ETFs. So firstly, with individual stocks, these are just single specific companies that you invest in. So brands like Facebook, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, or JB Hi-Fi, Woolworth, CSL in Australia, they are just the one company by themselves. So typically when you do this, you wanna spend a lot of time and energy researching the company and understanding its financials, how does the company and the management team plan to grow the business and in the same breath, grow the investor's money and make sure the share price will increase so the investor can make a positive return. It's really important to spend time and energy when you're picking out individual stocks and not just follow other people's opinions. You have a lot more control over where your money's going, but you're also at the mercy of one particular business. If you make a bad investment because you didn't spend enough time researching the company, then you might lose a fair bit of your money. In comparison to ETFs or exchange traded funds, this is always a basket or a collection of multiple different companies. So for America, you can have something called the S&P 500, which is the 500 biggest publicly traded companies in the US stock market. So this will include lots of really big brands like Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Disney, you name it. Pretty much every major company in the world is included in this index. So that means if one particular business or sector is doing poorly, then there will be other sectors in the market doing well, and then it'll balance out and you get a nice consistent return. So I'll be doing this on the mobile app and you can do it off your desktop as well. So this is what the home screen of Tiger Brokers will look like. You can see the amount of money in my portfolio. Currently it's $51. Then as you scroll down, you can take a look at some of the countries offered by the platform. So here we have the US market and the Australian market. Then there's also your portfolio. So what you have currently money invested in. So just have a bit of money in the S&P 500 ETF called the VOO. Then there's also the AI feature on Tiger Brokers, which is actually quite interesting because it'll give you a prediction of where the AI, based on the info that it currently has, will predict where that stock will be in the future. So you can see for Tesla Motors, the five-year return that it predicts is 219%. For NVIDIA, it predicts in five years' time, it's going to be at about 630%. Of course, this isn't a guaranteed amount, but it is cool to get a bit of a statistical idea on how that company is perceived to progress in the future. Then you can take a look at your watch list. So I've got Apple, Tesla, Vanguard, and Square on here. Then there's also the news tab as well that will let you know what's currently happening in the market. And you can also switch this to only show companies on your watch list. So I'll have things like the S&P 500 and Tesla on mine. So when you're on the Tiger Brokers platform, in the top left corner as well is where you can switch your Prime account over to the demo account. And this is where you're gonna have the ability to invest with borrowed money. So here you have $100,000 USD to just invest with paper money and get a feel for how the stock market works. So from here, you just click on the search icon in the top right corner and look up the particular investment that you're wanting to buy. So I'm gonna type in VOO, which is the S&P 500 ETF, then just click on it at the top and it's gonna give you a bit of a breakdown of the price that the stock has had across different time points. Like you can pick one day, one month, a year, or you can go for several years as well. You can go five years if you like, and it'll show you the price of the stock. So $466 per share for VOO, a bit of financial info, like the dividend, the high and low price for it. And then some info, a blurb about the investment as well. From this overview portion, you'll just click on buy and then select how much you wanna invest. So there's also some different buying options. So I just always go with market buy, just buying the current shares of the stock at the current market price. So remember VOO is currently $466 per share. So we're just buying it at that current market value. And then you can either invest per share or you can invest 
based on the amount of money that you have. So I'll just invest $50. And again, Tiger Brokers lets you buy fractional shares. So I'm going to be investing $0.04 into VOO. Then click on review buy order. Go continue. And then select place buy order. That's all you have to do to buy some shares on the Tiger Brokers platform. It's very easy. It just takes a few clicks of a button and navigating the platform is very straightforward as well. But you have to keep in mind there's other investment platforms like Sharesies, which may technically not offer as low fees as Tiger Brokers, but they have a lot of other extra features like a high interest savings account that gives you a 4.8% return on the uninvested money that's sitting on your Sharesies wallet. You can also manage your KiwiSaver through Sharesies and it offers monthly investing plans to cut down on your fees as well. If you wanna see a complete guide on Sharesies, which is a potential competitor to Tiger Brokers, then make sure to click on this video on screen to see a full breakdown of the Sharesies platform.